Nonstop rain and snow over the weekend created some serious issues this morning. Some streets flooded and a retaining wall even crumbled in Montgomery County. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell live in Upper Marlboro tonight where the river was rising. Brad. <laughs> Yeah, Allison, this is the western branch of the Patuxent, and it's one of those places that really floods frequently when we get a lot of rain. And you can see that it is swollen this afternoon, but the river has dropped about a foot since we first saw it this morning, and it really didn't do a whole lot of damage in this community. This is, seems to be one of those issues where if it had rained just a little bit longer, there would have been even bigger problems. When the brown water starts rising in Upper Marlboro, people get nervous. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's wild seeing all this water coming back up. The Western Branch often floods the appropriately named Water Street. Brian Atwater keeps his feet dry in the raised walkway to the courthouse, but he can't help look at the rushing water below. I'm trying to hurry and get across because you never know. At Marlboro Tire, they watch that water very closely. When we see Water Street start to flood over, then we start preparing our, our shop. We start putting away hand tools and equipment. That's because that blue line on their window marks the height of the flood in September 2011. Nothing so bad today with the water receding quickly. Laurel is another flood hotspot, and today out of concern that it can be inundated again, authorities closed most of the Mark train lot an inconvenience for commuters. I was going to re leave regular time, and then my son texted me and said, do you know the parking lot's closed, the river's flooded? In Laurel, the river stayed where it belongs. Not so in Frederick. Look at these News Chopper 7 shots of the Monocacy River up and out of its banks and into this park and playground. The rain is also likely to blame for a traffic snarling sinkhole on the GW Parkway this morning. And in Gaithersburg, soggy soil is being blamed for a ground shift and the collapse of this retaining wall. Now the safety of the townhomes clinging to the edge is in question. I think it looks dangerous for the house up on the hill. Well, he's not alone in his concern. As a matter of fact, a section of Quince Orchard Road is closed because there are concerns there could be more landslides. And two townhomes there had to be evacuated because they're worried about their structural integrity up on that hillside. In Upper Marlboro, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.